Hello friends, see this video for knowing dental fillings and various types of fillings. A filling is a way to restore a damaged tooth which could have been a result of decay or trauma. When a dentist gives you a filling, he or she first removes the decayed tooth material, cleans the affected area and then fills the cleaned out cavity with the filling material. By closing off spaces where bacteria can enter, a filling also helps prevent further decay. Fillings are basically divided into two types. It can be tooth colored or it can be non tooth colored. Tooth colored fillings are porcelain inlays, glass animal restorations or composite resin restorations. While non tooth colored filling includes silver amalgam restorations or gold inlays. Let us understand each one of these in detail. Let's start from non tooth colored restoration. The first one being silver amalgam. Silver amalgam restoration is an alloy of mercury, tin and copper. It has some disadvantages like release of mercury vapors, expansion upon setting and the properties like tarnish and corrosion. Though it is a most durable material, it is not used nowadays because of silver color which is unesthetic. The next one comes as gold inlays or onlays. It is basically a mixture of copper, gold and other metals. It is very durable material and can last for up to 20 years. So this is highly recommendable material for restoration. But the only thing is cost. Gold is very costly and moreover it requires multiple visits for restoration. Now let's see tooth colored fillings. The first one being composite resin. It consists of resin material and glass as a mixture. The ingredients are mixed and placed in the cavity and there they harden. Over a long period of time, composite resin has a tendency to shrink. So it can cause micro leakage, it may stain or it can be worn and torn out. So it may not last more than 10 years. The next is porcelain inlays. With the help of new technology called CATCAM technology, you can manufacture porcelain inlays with perfect fitting in one or two visits and can have exact shade match with the tooth color. It is again very hard and resistant to wear and tear. Moreover, it is expensive also. Last but not the least, restorative glass inomer cements are also tooth color restorations. The material consists of powder that bonds with the tooth structure. They are mainly advantageous because the cement releases fluoride which helps against tooth decay. So it is a best material of choice for restoring primary teeth in children and also it is helpful for root caries. Now a question may arise that how do I know if I need a dental filling or not? So your dentist can best decide if you need a dental filling. First of all, you will be examined with the help of some special instruments and x-rays may be taken for areas that look abnormal. The type of treatment chosen depends on the extent of damage caused by decay or trauma. No one type of filling is best and common for all. The extent of decay and the place in your mouth where it needs restoration decides the type of the filling and trust your dentist, he is the one who decides the best. After this filling procedure is done, you may experience tooth sensitivity which can occur due to minor nerve irritation, gum irritation or inflammation due to drilling. These sensations usually improve with time. but if the sensitivity worsens or you experience more pain, fever or redness and itching in the area or swelling in that area, immediately contact your dentist. Now come some tips so that your fillings can last longer. First of all, do not put too much pressure on that area. So don't bite with hard food where the filling is done so it can last longer. Next one is if you have bruxism then use night guards. Follow a healthy diet and good oral health care practices that you can see in my previous videos how to brush and floss correctly. So friends this is all for dental fillings 
for more information stay tuned with this channel and you can subscribe and comment here